Hi everyone, my name is Cheryl Hurst. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Sydney, Australia. Welcome to Scrapbook Set Day. And I thought, well, Mother's Day is um, tomorrow, so why don't we start getting our page ready for that when we take a photo. So here we go. I'm using, out of the um, catalogue, is the... the ephemeral packs so I'm using those and I'm also using the 12 by 12 in color the 24 to 26 in color pack and you get 20 so you get um, five different colors and four of each page so I'm using um, pretty pink there okay and so I've got a whole bunch of stuff out. So we just need to arrange and be happy with what we're going to do. So this is um, my potential photo. So I thought I'll put that sort of around there. Can you see that all right? Yep. And, and I've got all these flowers everywhere. So I thought, and I've got this one, celebrate today. So, you know, we want to celebrate today because we've got some, to, um, I'm having over um, my daughter and, <clears throat> and daughter-in-law and first time mums. So why not celebrate today? So we've got that there. So we've got that looking quite good. Beautiful. And, um, I've got all these bits and pieces, so I'll just continue on. This is probably my favourite one. I love this one. So that can go centre. can go centre there. So that's my favourite. And we've got this gorgeous one there, so that can go somewhere there. So... I try and make it go round. Um, just going through all the the bits here, and um, just looking to see what I want to where I want to put them. I've got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bits. So I've got that, and. <coughs> Go down, excuse me for coughing. Uh, so we'll go around, sort of into length, like that, maybe. This is just what we're thinking of so far. Um, I've got a nice leaf here, and I've got this nice flower. So maybe if I put that on, um, sort of together. So link it and I've got this cutie there and I've got it because I've introduced blue there so I can probably put I can put that one in there and I can put a couple little bits there um, well else am I looking I've got um, a sentiment even though it's not saying Mother's Day, but um, you make my life so rosy. You can do that to start with. I've got that sort of there. And we'll build on to that. So we'll put get some of that colour here. Maybe I'll move that over. I don't want to get too much on the photo until I sort of... Um, Work that out, put some that there, and I might just stick some greenery in here. Let me have greenery for those flowers, so fill in the gap there. Um, so I've got the pieces there, so I might put some pieces down here. Um, got this, I'll put that there somewhere, 
I've got some nice, I'm going to put that out in there. Got some nice bits here. Um, fill in the, some of the gaps with these nice little flowers. one that looked random and now I've got the beautiful butterflies and let's just I'm going to fold them up a bit I'm going to put a butterfly there that sort of sets it off doesn't it uh, I'll put one sort of there that can sort of overlap because I can put the photo in then and I can put um over here that fills that gap in a bit and it's flying away um can oh maybe i'll move that move that over a bit or put the butterfly sort of flying past there and i need one over here i think i need one We've got a bit of a bit going on here. And maybe if I turn that that way, bring that down a bit. And then we can put a butterfly. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, five. I like the odd number. What do you think? We'll start gluing that down. I think that looks pretty good. If I had the photo, I could have a hang it a bit more. I just don't want to. I could, I suppose. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Maybe. I'll leave that flat, I think, and then I might raise the photo when I get do a photo so okay I think I'm happy with that okay so we'll stick this one down first we'll stick the main thing down how's your scrapbooking going are you scrapbooking along with me as you're going getting your mother's day card book page getting ready my plan is to get us all in one photo that's the plan um, I might lift that one up This one that and stick that under there. I think. And I'm going to do randomly um, some with dimension and some without, just to give it, you know, a bit more texture. to glue I'll just put the center on that one so I get that and I'll do it flat so it can sneak under there so I will do that and 
I'm going to get the mini dimensionals and I'm just going to put one little mini dimensional. And that's all I will need to hold him down. I think that looks like that at the moment. Okay, so just put a bit of chaos here. Um, We'll glue this one on, that, and we're going to add some dimensionals on here. I'm going to have dimensional papers everywhere. And I'm going to put that one just there. And I'm going to glue him down. So I can, it's alright because that's lifting up, so that'll be alright. So I'll just glue him just there and put him in there. And that'll be alright because I can lift that to put the flower in. And. I think I might put that one sort of coming up there. And I've got the butterfly. He's a flat one, so he can be skimming off there. I'll leave those loose for the moment to see what I'm going to do with them. Okay, I'm going to glue that on bed of him and then raise that up with dimensionals. I don't want to put too many on because I want to slip things underneath. So I'm going to put that there and I'm just going to put a bit of oh I'll put it on the back I think that one there and I was going to put that one in so I might as well do that one so I think that will glue that one down and I'm just going to rotate it a bit so I can glue Um, what am I going to do? That one might be flat. That one be raised. That one might be raised. So I'm going to raise this one. And just put him like there. And then put this one over the top of it. And we're going to glue this one. Aren't they pretty? They're just so gorgeous, these flowers. Get some more dimensionals. on the card to do it. And I'm just going to raise that like that. And I think I'm going to get a little mini dimensional. Oops, it's just a little 
And we'll just take the, lid, the, the top layer off. And we're going to put in here, get busy with all the flowers there. And bring this around. We'll do this one. They're nice and thick. I always I'm checking to see if I've put two on because they're so thick and gorgeous. This makes scrapbooking so much easier when you've got all these cutouts, this doesn't it? Blue, so we'll need that one raised. Yeah. Oops, where is it going? I'll put it up in there. It's funny doing that upside down. except for some of these odd little bits and pieces so what do you think I'm just going to get some rid of these packings still have a whole heap of them and otherwise they'll be all over the floor I'll share with them later if I get them in the bin okay now Oh, well, that looks quite nice, just doing the three like that, doesn't it? That looks cute. Okay, I think I might put dimensions on them. I always come back and play with it later. <laughs> if I do. So when I add the photo, I'll probably do a bit more. I think I've missed or I need more the photo the photos make it different to once you add a photo it um, sort of tells you what you need or don't need so I think that will do for the moment I hope you like my Mother's Day um, scrapbook page and when I get the photo I'll show you it so when it's all finished so thank you very much i'd love to see what you're scrapbooking so please come to my page and post pictures i'd love to it um cheryl hurst independent stamping up demonstrator you'll find me and um just tag me or, or tag me um so i can check out your photos and um like your page and things like that as well so i, I really would enjoy doing that so have a wonderful Mother's Day for the, all the mums and all the, the dads out there. Look after your wives and your mums and um, hopefully you'll all have a wonderful day. So see you later. Bye.